teen parency or teen pregnancy as a crisis, right? But nobody's saying, how do you serve these kids? I was a neonatal intensive care nurse, and so I understood that there were teen parents coming through the NICU. And so we treated them like every other family that was in the NICU. And how? <laughs> They're not understanding at the same level. And realizing that these are babies having babies. And I knew that there was something that we needed to do differently. So I would spend more time, but that was me. That wasn't a standard of care or a regular practice of care. I am the founder and CEO of Purposely Chosen Incorporated. It's a nonprofit organization that serves pregnant and parenting teens in the foster care system. And for me, it was purpose and pain and all of that colliding. And I knew that this was something greater than me. Yes, I was a homeless youth, but I found out when I was 15 years old that I was pregnant. Um, the lady that took me in and she said, you know, I said, you can come. I didn't say you can bring no baby. And I was devastated. She said, you can leave here or you can get rid of it. And those were my options. Every day that I serve a kid who has the courage to keep their kid um, is something that I couldn't do and didn't do. Our mission is to help teen moms keep their babies. And it's literally by any means necessary. If you come to our organization and you say that you want your kid, I got you. You will never have to make that decision that I had to make for a roof over your head. I'm not the only one that does this work. This is not advocating teen pregnancy. We're dealing with a situation that has already occurred and a young person is saying, I wanna have my baby. Right. I think what you tell them is, look, do your best and we will help you do the rest. Yeah. Who's gonna teach them? Who's gonna hug them? Who's gonna tell them it's gonna be okay? It has to be people like me, people like you, mm -hmm. organizations like the ones that we're in today that your future can look different. You, you, you will blossom, that you don't have to be a product of your environment. It's not my voice and my story that they're hearing anymore. It's the voices of my babies and I won't stop. <laughs> I love that. So if you could tell healthcare providers, if you could speak to them and you could say to a nurse or a doctor or anybody who is serving a pregnant team, what would you want them to know? I need you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, they need to know where we are coming from to let us know mm -hmm. how to get to them. And maybe my job is just to bring it into your awareness. Maybe that is the job, to bring it into your awareness. And now since it's in your awareness, you have a responsibility, especially when you've taken an oath, right? And especially when you have said that this is the work that you will do. Now let's see if you're worth your salt.